to show you. We should start seeing whatever is on the tape right on the computer. So you can record this being fast forwarded by going here and clicking start recording. But, uh, for your daily sort of uh, video capturing needs, this is more than enough and it's super, super easy to use. Okay, so this is a quick review about the UCEC Video Capture USB 2.0 video adapter with audio. I purchased this on Amazon. I think it was 25 bucks. Um, it's compatible with Windows 7, 8, 10, so I'm using Windows 10. A lot of people are commenting saying it's difficult to get this going. There's really no manual, uh, but it's actually pretty easy. Uh, it took me maybe three minutes, honestly, to just get this going. Perhaps uh, it is my technical experience but um so what what does this do so this allows you to capture your old time keep memory forever um so it essentially comes with this little usb stick dongle you plug this into any usb 2.0 or 3 then you've got four cables um they did provide you with one cable uh but uh, I, I grabbed another one just because i needed to connect this to my VCR, which is what I'm using. Now, a really cool thing is that you can use this for uh, old school uh, camcorder or anything that will plug in and it will work. You just have to have the proper uh, cables. This is the SVHS. I don't have an SVHS cable. Apparently, this is supposed to give you better resolution. This is the audio cable, uh, I believe. Yep, audio right. Uh, and then you have your audio left, which is the white, and then you have your video CVBS, which is the yellow. So I've been using the yellow and the white because I don't have three, um, uh, a three sort of a, a cable. And then you plug your yellow to video out. Remember, not in, it's out. And then your audio goes to audio left for white and audio R for right if you have the red cable. So now we have these two cables. Now you don't really have to uh, worry about plugging the second cable in. Uh, what this does is it actually does capture, I think, in stereo. So uh, you can do it in post if you want to, uh, but it does capture audio with just a single white cable. Now, software, it is OBS 21.1.2, 64-bit for Windows. Now, I don't have a CD drive for this laptop, even though it came with a little mini CD. So I just went and I um, Googled the software and I found it and I downloaded it. And again, it's called OBS 21.1.2. When you first, uh, when you first you plug it in, you wanna go to device manager. And again, this is just on Windows here. And this is where all your peripherals and whatnots are located. Now, when you load up this little piece of software, you're gonna look down until you have a little exclamation mark. It would be something like OEM capture or capture or UCC something. And then you're gonna get an exclamation mark. So you're gonna click on that exclamation mark and then you're gonna to navigate to um, driver and it's gonna probably say it's not working. If it's not, it's gonna give you the option to change browse driver details update driver the click search automatically for updated driver software on my other computer i click this button and it actually found it by connecting to the internet and it just downloaded it instantly and then it started working okay so once the software is downloaded and you launch the application which is the obs 21.1.2 this is what it's going to look like and now we turn on the power for the vcr and we already have a tape in here I'm just gonna show you all right so we're gonna put it in and we're gonna press play and under sources here it should say video capture device if it doesn't you're gonna click this little gear icon and then a pop-up is gonna appear and then under device you're gonna click either VJ webcam because if you're using a laptop you're gonna have a webcam or you're gonna get your OEM device that you just installed. So you're gonna click OEM device. You can click configure video. As you can see, you have additional options, but I wouldn't really bother. Resolution, you're gonna go device default and click okay. And now when you press play, we're gonna press play now. 
we should start seeing whatever is on the tape right on the computer. Now, if I use these arrows, you're going to see that it's rhyming and fast forwarding and, and whatnot. Right? You can fast forward. So whatever's happening on the screen right now, you can actually record. So you can record this being fast forwarded by going here and clicking start recording. Um, but let's go to settings to determine the path where this is going to be saving. So we're going to click on output. Now video bitrate, I recommend setting it to 30,000. By default, it could be 10,000. It just gives you a little more control if you're going to be doing video editing on this. For encoder, you can probably use hardware depending on how fast your machine is. Audio bitrate, I would say keep it at 128. Keep the checkboxes. Keep this to quality for encoder preset. And then right here, recording path, this is where you browse where you want the files to be saved. So we're just gonna click downloads and click select folder. Now recording quality, I would say keep it at large file size. Unless it's not really important, then you can go medium size. And the recording format, I use MP4. There is MOVs and MKVs, but I like MK. Now the only thing with MP4s is that anything over 12 minutes, I would say, is gonna get corrupted. So if you're recording segments, make sure you stop it 12 minutes in so the file gets saved. 12 minutes will give you about three and a half to four gigabyte file with these settings. And press enter and that's okay. All right, so now we're gonna just press play. Cause you're not gonna hear audio on here, by the way. You don't hear audio for some reason. Maybe that's something I did. You have additional things for scene transitions and fades and whatnot, but we're only cutting the raw footage right now and saving it. So we're gonna click start record right here. Immediately, it starts recording. You don't see it, but it's recording. Now, over here under the mixer, you have different sort of uh, option for capturing audio. So this little, this little meter is moving. That means that there is audio coming in from the video capture device. Desktop audio is disabled, but if I wanted to enable it, I could simply by going in here. But of course, I don't want to be recording what I'm saying right now because there is a mic built into this laptop and I don't want to do that. If I did, I just increase this essentially. All right, so let's press stop. Okay, we're gonna pause this. And now let's go find our file. All right, so now we go downloads and here's the file. I just created 43 seconds, 279 megabytes. And then we're gonna have audio here. And I'm gonna review the... There it goes. And that is as easily as it can get when you're using this video capture device. So again, if you're having trouble, try and follow my steps here. And then you're gonna be capturing all your awesome footage in no time. Uh, there is an option to, again, stream on uh, directly online right here where it says start streaming. Um, I honestly, I have not used this feature. Yeah, you gotta go into your settings, I guess, for that. I, but I guess you can set up the streaming. Let's go into stream right here. There we go, you can set up the streaming service to be Twitch, YouTube, YouTube Gaming, Mixer, Dailymotion, all of these things you can actually stream to. Which is kinda cool, but obviously I'm not using this. So we're gonna not worry about that. Press escape to exit. But uh, for your daily sort of uh, video capturing needs, this is more than enough and it's super, super easy to use. So if you found this video helpful, I appreciate you clicking that helpful button. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you on the, the next one.